Hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. In this video I'm going to be assembling the knurling tool that I made from the Hemingway kit. And I'll be using it to make these knurled test pieces. Here are the completed parts ready for assembly. I assembled the pivot pins with Loctite retaining compound. This is the plate that holds all the parts together. And this is the opposite plate. The two arms pivot on the plate. I used some standard grease for assembly. The H-shaped piece that you can see is a shim that holds the two parts slightly apart so that the arms don't lock. You'll see this later on assembly. This is the clamping bar. It's assembled with a small spring. This is the clamping handle and a small brass washer. The washer acts as a bearing surface. This is the block that holds the inner and outer plates apart. And this is why I need the small shim, otherwise the arms would be clamped together and unable to move. I normally use copper slip on the threads for assembly to stop the screws seizing in the future. It also helps with disassembly and stops things rusting up. A small senior moment is quickly rectified. These are the wheels that are used for the knurling. The axles that they run on are made from case hardened steel.
This is the mounting block. I used a little bit of oil between the bearing surfaces to stop anything rusting up in the future. I have a quick change tool holder permanently dedicated to the knurling tool so that I can quickly and easily fit it to the lathe whenever I need to use it. Here you can see the spring loaded clamping arms and the handle which moves the arms in and out. These are the test pieces one made of steel, one made of brass and one made of aluminium. This is the steel one being made out of a ropey old piece of steel. The rust is soon removed leaving fresh shiny steel underneath. I'm using a parting tool to create a groove so that I can chamfer the edges. For the knurling operation itself, the lathe spindle speed has to be significantly reduced. To use the knurling tool the arms are clamped down onto the work. Sometimes helps to add a bit of lubrication but this is mainly for the wheels running on their bearings. Then the tool is passed across the work. After a first pass the tool is clamped tighter to increase the depth of the knurls. And the job is quickly completed. We can now part it off. The tool creates very nice sharp diamond pattern knurls. Now I'm doing the same thing but using brass just to see the difference. The knurling wheels should be more or less on the centre line of the work, but they can be slightly off as they are here, it doesn't really matter.
After the first pass, the tool is clamped slightly tighter again. And the brass test piece is complete with equally good results. Finally, aluminium, which is a much softer material. This clip is sped up. These are the three test pieces complete. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. See you next time.